What's up, guys? Welcome back to Wandering with White Duck. I am Jack Stewart, your host, and it's time for another Camp Cocktail Hour, the mini-series where I show you some of my favorite cocktails to make when I'm out camping or at a cabin. It's the middle of winter and about 10 degrees outside, and that's why I decided we're doing tequila cocktails to bring a little bit of that sunshine right here to us. So without further ado, let's get into it and make some cocktails. Okay guys, so the very first cocktail we are going to make is called Ranch Water. And the reason I love this for camping is not only is it easy to make, it takes few ingredients, but also it's very refreshing. So when you're exerting yourself all day, it's nice to have something that uh, quenches your thirst. Let's get into it. First things first, we gotta have some tequila, duh. Next, we need some lime juice. Now, you can buy some real limes and cut them up and squeeze the juice. I decided to just go with the stuff that's already in the bottle, just to skip that step. And last but not least, you just need some club soda or just soda water of any kind. And that's it. To start things off, we're just gonna add some ice. If you're out camping and don't have access to ice, that's okay. Uh, obviously, it just keeps it nice and cool, but you do not really need it. Next, we're gonna grab our tequila and add about a shot into the glass. Then we're gonna grab our lime juice and just add a touch, you know? It's really up to your discretion. I like it tasting extra limey, so I'm adding probably about a teaspoon in there. And last but not least, we're gonna fill up our glass with soda water. And that right there is some ranch water. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's good. It almost tastes like a really, really light margarita, which I kind of like. Um, you've got the lime in there. You've got obviously the tequila, but you have the extra kick of the bubbles from the soda water. I'm giving this one a thumbs up. Okay guys, the ranch water was super good, but this next cocktail is one that I'm really excited about because it's a take on a classic that I don't think is done too often. We're making a tequila mule, which is a take on the Moscow mule. All right, you guys, so we've already got our tequila, lime juice, and makeshift shot glass. The only other thing we need is some ginger beer. Once again, for this cocktail, we're gonna start by putting some ice in our glass. Then we will add about a shot of tequila again. We'll follow this with some lime juice. Again, it's up to your discretion, but I like to add a little bit more than most people, so I just, Put some in there until it looks nice and uh, limey, like that. And then the closer is some ginger beer. You are good to go. All right, guys, let's try our tequila mule. Cheers. The tequila kind of blends into the entire drink. The ginger and the citrus are really, really prevalent and you don't taste the bite of the liquor. And so if you're looking for something that will uh, really be refreshing as well, this is a great option for you. And again, so easy to make. And honestly, guys, I wish I had better company up here. This, this girl is absolutely passed out. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay guys, so for this last cocktail, we are going to make a classic margarita. Now it sounds a bit daunting for a camp setting, but it's really, really easy to make. We've got our tequila, lime juice, and we only need one more ingredient, and that is some Cointreau. Now let's be real here, this is not a lot of stuff, especially if you're going glamping or car camping, you can totally bring this and it makes one amazing drink. A classic margarita calls for a little bit more tequila than some of our other drinks. It asks for about two shots. Next, it is time to add some Cointreau. This is a very tasty liqueur that is gonna make our margarita taste amazing. We're gonna add about a shot's worth into the mix. 
And finally, we are going to add about one and a half ounces of lime juice. If you're squeezing real limes, this is gonna be about two limes. But for our sake, that's about a shot's worth. All right, guys, time to try this margarita. Okay, yeah, it's, it's all right. Um, I think the mixture is a little off. Also, I think I probably would uh, squeeze real limes in the future, but all in all, for a camp margarita, it tastes pretty good. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if it was between this and ranch water, I would choose ranch water. But hey, we got a margarita and there's always room for improvement with these recipes. Okay guys, so that is gonna do it. Three simple recipes for how you can use tequila and just a couple other ingredients to make really great cocktails at camp or at a cabin. I would love to hear some of your favorite recipes though. If you've got some ideas, drop them in the comments below and maybe we'll make them next time. As always, this has been Wandering with White Duck. I'm your host, Jack Stewart. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Uh -huh.